Hi guys, welcome to my channel, The Cutting Edge. After watching the video, you have gained something knowledge by seeing this video or you have find something interesting in this video. Then only you like the video and subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, dislike the video. Thank you. Keep watching it. Today's quotation. Let's start today's video. It is my privilege to make the video because my nation, the great India, is creating a new milestone in space research organization by launching one or three satellites in a single rocket. Indian Space Research Organization Chairman A.S. Ravikumar Sir told that our aim is to maximize with each launch and not to set a record. We are not looking at it as a record or anything. We are just trying to maximize our capability with each launch and trying to utilize that launch and get the maximum in return. ISRO used their most reliable rocket PSLV C37 which is a remote sensing satellite used to lift up the 103 satellites among them 100 are from foreign satellites mainly from US Canada, Germany and remaining three satellites from India and it is launched from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota in Andhra Pradesh. The technology used to build the satellites are micro technology, hence the satellites are in the size of macro. All the 100 foreign micro satellites belonging to Israel, Kazakhstan, Netherlands, Switzerland and US and Germany. The collective weight of all foreign satellites will be nearly 500 kg while the three Indian satellites are belonging to Corto set series weighing 730 kg as a primary load, IS-1A satellite and IS-1B satellite totally weighing of 30 kg each. The total payload is 1350 kg. Dr. K. Shivan sir, director of the Vikram Sarbhai Space Center. Tirvanantapuram explained how the Indian Space Agency is going to place satellites into orbit and said the every satellite will be separated in different angle and at different time from the launch vehicle in order to prevent collision between satellites. The satellite separated from the launch vehicle will have a relative velocity of 1 meter per second. So after 1000 seconds the distance between a satellite and the rocket will be 1000 meters. The satellite that gets launched first will move at a relatively faster velocity than the second satellite that is launched. Due to different relative velocities, the distance between the satellites will increase continuously but the orbital will be same. When the vehicle reaches the orbital condition, we will wait for the disturbances to die down before the preparation for separation begins. At an orbital altitude of around 500 km, it would take the vehicle 90 minutes to complete one orbit, so we have sufficient time to launch all the 103 satellites. Thanks for watching the video. Today's puzzle question.